My name is Nitza and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. This week we're going to make Greek Easter sweet bread or tsuraki. This Easter is not like the others. So being that most of us are in our homes for the past two, three weeks, um, I thought that maybe this is a great thing to make as it requires many hours to uh, be made. It's not difficult to make and it doesn't require that much prep. You just need to wait for it to rise for a few hours. So being that we are in the house right now, this is a perfect time to make it. So what I did, I'm not sure if I have mentioned it before, but my husband, uh, Tony, he's a baker. So what I did is I took one of his recipes for tsuraki and he has great tsuraki recipes. And um, I made a minor tweaks and I'm going to make that recipe today. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you are going to need a few hours, so please start making the bread in the morning as you're gonna need to let it set for at least three to four hours. So these are our ingredients. Flour, eggs, sugar, condensed milk uh, mixed with water, diluted in water, plain water, yeast, Mahlepi. This is a Greek um, spice. If you don't have it, um, you can leave it out. The, the sweet bread is not going to taste exactly the same, but you can add a little bit extra of vanilla so it gives it some flavor. Orange zest, a little bit of olive oil, and unsalted butter. Um, I'm I bought this one, I'm gonna cut it in half, I'm only gonna use half of this. The recipe is gonna be given to you um, at the beginning of the sweet bread. The absolute first thing that we need to do is mix our water with our yeast and let it for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to take my water, my two thirds cup of water, and I'm going to add all my yeast in there. I'm going to add a teaspoon or of a little bit of my sugar. And one teaspoon of my flour. I'm going to mix these ingredients until they dissolve, until the yeast dissolves completely. And I'm going to put it to the side for about 10, 15 minutes. This is so the yeast rises faster. It's gonna, you're gonna see that the yeast, as you let it, it's gonna rise up, it's okay. And if it, if you uh, press on it or whatever and it goes down, that's fine again. So this is my yeast mixture and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I will take half of my butter In the meantime, I will take half of this and I'm gonna go put it in a pot and melt it. I'm not gonna burn it. I'm just gonna melt it a little bit so it's not um, it's not like this. so it's like a little bit liquidy. Okay, my yeast is ready. Look, it became double. So I'm gonna leave it to the side. In the meantime, I have um, melted my butter and I'm gonna add it to my bar. I just need to take all of it. Okay. And I'm going to add the sugar to the melted butter and just mix it. I'm going to add my machlepi, my orange peel, the vanilla, I'm going to add my five eggs slowly. And 
and I'm going to mix it. As soon as my eggs are all broken up, I'm going to add my condensed milk. Now I use condensed milk with water. So I dilute it in water. This is a half a cup of condensed milk and a half, um, a half of water. So I took the one cup, measuring cup, I put half condensed milk and then I filled it up with water and diluted it. If you do not have condensed milk, you can use regular milk. You just need to add another half a cup sugar. So I'm going to add my milk. And just mix. Making the Easter bread, the sweet Easter bread, is not hard. It just requires um, a long time because after we're done, we're going to need to put it to the side for a few hours for it to rise. Um, but being that we are home now, it's an easy thing to make. I would recommend that you start making it in the morning. You make it in the morning, you put it on the side, and by 7 or 8 o'clock, you're going to have it ready. And I'm going to add my yeast as well. Gonna make sure all my yeast is in there. And I'm just going to mix it. Okay. See? So this is the mixture of all the ingredients. I have a little bit of milk left over. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the flour. Now, the trick to adding the flour to the sweet bread, to the tsureki, is we're not going to mix going in circles we need to go from the outside to the inside making this movement so i'm gonna start i have my bread right my um i'm sorry my flour right here i'm gonna start putting in the flour and i'm gonna start from the inside out and i'm gonna start mixing it until it is all, all the liquids are done. If you find it hard to mix with a mixing utensil or a spatula or a spoon, you can use your hand. I'm gonna try not to, so I don't get dirty, but. Now the flour that you need to use, that's another important thing when you make the tsureki. It needs to be high gluten flour. In Greece, they have specific flours that say that, you know, they're for the sweet bread. It's what we call hard flour um, in Greece. Here in America, you need to find the high gluten one. Um, if you don't have it, I guess you can use the old purpose. Uh, it's not going to be the same, but you could use it. So I'm just going to continue mixing it like this. Well, I had to put my my hand in the dough. It's kind of hard to mix. It's a little bit hard to mix with that uh, spoon and it's fine. So from in from outside in and if you see your your zimmy, your batter is sticky, just give a little bit of more flour and sprinkle around until it's not sticky. It's very soft. We don't want it to be hard. And see how I'm doing from the outside in. And it's okay if at the end it's a touch sticky, or we don't want it to be like a liquid batter. So this is becoming the way that I want it. It is a little sticky, but it's fine. See, it's not that sticky now. It's not sticking. I mean, it's sticking to my hand because my hand is sticking from before. But if I use this other hand, it's not that sticky. Oh, 
okay so this is our tsureki batter we're going to put it to the side for about two three hours we're gonna see it it's gonna double in size and when that happens we're gonna break it meaning break it meaning press it down and leave it for another couple of hours before we make it that's why i said before that this is a process that you know could take anywhere from six to eight hours it's not a difficult thing to make it's just time consuming you just need to be there um you know in the house uh so you can um, keep your eye on it so you just let it be now for about three hours and we'll come back when it's ready and this is where i'm going to take the oil remember we had a little bit of oil and i'm just gonna go like this and i'm just gonna flip it around i'm not gonna net it or anything i'm just gonna flip it around just put a little bit of oil it's not sticking anymore and this is what it should look like it's not sticking with the olive oil this is from before in my fingers so we're just gonna cover this and we're gonna let it be for about three hours as I said and we're gonna come back to it about three hours have passed and I'm gonna uncover my dough so you see how it looks so it is it has risen so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like this so it goes down we need to repeat this um, about two times so this is the first time after the three hours I'm gonna press it down once and I'm gonna leave it for another couple of hours two more hours went by and we're going to look our, at our tsureki or sweetbread uh, batter again so it has risen again so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna break it one more time from the outside in and I'm gonna cover it and let it for another two hours and my batter is ready so this is how it's supposed to look I'm gonna take it out of the um, I'm gonna take it out of this container of the bowl and let me just sprinkle just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick although it shouldn't And now I'm gonna make it into the tsureki braids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my dough. You can cut it. it. Might seem a little bit difficult, but it's not. You just need to, there you go. You can put a little bit of flour so I'm going to cut it in fours, four equal pieces. As equal as possible. And I'm going to put them to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll. And each piece now, I'm going to cut it into three as equal as possible see I'm gonna move my little bunny and I'm gonna put this to the side my three pieces off to my next piece again we try to be as equal as possible so the, see this piece Right here it's a little bit smaller so I'm gonna add and I'm gonna put these to the side as well and I'm gonna keep doing this 
So I'm going to start from the one that I did first, which is the one in the back. And I'm just going to roll it out and make three long strings, which I'm going to leave here. The Nutella I have because I'm going to make one with Nutella. I'm going to stuff it. So I'm just going to put it here. I hope you can see it. And I'm going to roll the other one out. And put it right next to it. And the third one. We can touch them. We can move them. Nothing is going to happen to them. So I can move this and make my last one. And I have my three So I'm going to take my three strings. I'm going to move this to the side because it's easier for me to show you how it's done when it's facing this way. So I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to start braiding it like this. And at the end, I'm just going to go like this to seal it and turn it upside down and continue braiding it. I can leave it like this or I can even turn it and make a round one. There we go. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my pan. And I'm going to continue with the second one. I'm going to show you how to stuff it with Nutella. So I make, I make my, I make my long and I use this to open it up a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to take a little bit of Nutella and put it in. What's the side? I'm going to bake it with the Nutella. This is an awesome breakfast. Kids love this one. Okay. And then I'm just going to roll it. And roll it like this. And seal it at the ends. So now my Nutella is in this and it's stuffed. And I'm going to take this and put it to the side, like I did with the others. I'm going to do the same with this. Oh, it sticks a little, so I'm going to need a little bit of flour. Some Nutella in there again. Like this. And I'm going to seal it the same way. Seal it at the end like this. Just close it up. And make sure the Nutella is all sealed in. And I'm going to put this to the side as well. See, my Nutella is sealed in here. I'm going to need to put a little bit of flour. And make this one. it up again. So we need to repeat this in all three pieces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the same technique to make it into a braid. 
and I'm going to show it to you again. We're careful not to put too much Nutella because then it's going to spill out. Actually, my kids love the Nutella one. Especially when it comes out of the oven. Okay. So these are my three stuffed pieces. There we go. We can put them close together. And then I'm going to start again from the side. See, if you see it coming out a little bit, you just need to close it up. So we're going to take the one on the side and we're going to start braiding it. We're not going to pull it. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to go like this at the end and we're going to flip it. Okay, I'm going to braid this one. And again, we're going to do this at the end. And I'm going to make this one a round one also. And then I'm going to take it and put it with my other one. I'm going to show you the pan in a few minutes. And I'm going to continue doing the other two like this. I'm not going to do the, one, um, the other ones with Nutella so it's quicker. I'm just going to do them plain. But you got the idea. I'm just going to, as I said, making um, tsureki bread or Easter bread is a whole day process. Not that it's difficult. You just need to be there all day because it needs to rise a couple of times. Turn it around. And again, this recipe I took from my husband. He actually gave it to me. I didn't just take it. I'm sure it's not his best recipe, but um, I kind of added a couple of things. I'm using the pan that I used for the cookies. I don't need to throw the parchment paper out. There's no reason for that. It's still good. He's making the last one. Now when we're done and we make all four of them, so this recipe is designed to make four. Four tureka. So when we make all four of them, we're going to let it rise again. For another hour, hour and a half. But being that we're confined home nowadays, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so our tsureki are ready. This is what they look like. As I said, I used the same parchment paper as the cookies, which doesn't really matter. So this is what they're going to look like. And I'm going to cover them and leave them at a warm place. So about another two hours have gone by, and this is our Easter bread. It has doubled in size. What we're going to do now is very, very lightly, we're going to put some egg on top of it. Very lightly. We're not going to press it at all. I have put my oven to warm up. I set it for 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes. Very softly. After I'm done, I can sprinkle some almonds on top 
or I can just leave it plain. There we go. They're ready to go into the oven. Again, as soon as my oven is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. 